Now, click the Install Now button to download and install the software. Grammarly isn't just a safety net, you'll get detailed explanations for all your mistakes. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, then it's a pleasure. Join us on InfotechPH. Feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates. Open your Google Chrome browser. Okay, just follow me. Make sure you have internet connection. Go to this site www.grammarly.com Now, click the green button to add Grammarly to your Chrome extension. You will be redirected to this page. Just click Add to Chrome. If that will show up, then click Add Extension. You can see it at the lower left corner of your browser, it's downloading. If that will show up, it means it's already added to your Chrome extension. Then, you will be redirected to this page for you to create a free account. You need to enter your email, password and your name. Now, by filling up these blanks will personalize your Grammarly settings. If you're done, then click continue. Again, click continue to save your settings. You have your choices here. Continue with free or get Grammarly Premium. But be aware of choosing Grammarly Premium, it will cost you $11.56 per month. Just click the free offer to try it before upgrading to Premium. Now, click the Install Now button to download and install the software in your desktop. It's now downloading. Just wait. When it's done downloading, go to your download folder, then find the Grammarly setup. Open it to install. Just wait. Now, just log in using your free account you have created. Remember? There you have it. You can now start using it. But first I will be going to show you how to use it. Click the new document to start. You can type or paste phrases here. So, I will be going to copy a paragraph in my notepad. Then, this setting appears automatically as I paste the paragraph. You need to set your goals, as the more Grammarly knows about the context of your writing, the more customized and helpful suggest it will propose. In my case, I paste a paragraph about tutorials on how to enable dark theme on YawaTube. As a result, the paragraph is under the intent section. As a tutorial is to inform, describe and to convince. Then, click done. As you can see, it corrects misspellings, misused words, and capitalization. The green button is the correction for every mistake from my grammar and it has an explanation below. I will just click every green button appears to correct my grammar. Then, I can copy and paste it back to my notepad. I can also export this to a document. I can also import a document here to edit it immediately.
That's how we can use the software. Ooh.